Hey Smokestack fans, Johnny C from New Jersey. Here we are in my garage uh, troubleshooting this uh, Onan OT70 transfer switch which I bought on Craigslist and got beat. Basically the thing had a fried motherboard and transformer board and uh, this thing's in pretty bad shape. But we uh, ended up uh, getting a new motherboard today. Transformer board uh, we got last week. Just to show you what we have with the transformer board, the old one, you can see burned out right here burned out right here okay I took out one of the transformers it's pretty well fried let me flip it over here doesn't look too bad on this side but it, it's all it's all messed up okay we followed the Onan uh, troubleshooting procedures and it uh, basically told us that uh, since we could not get this transfer switch to sense line voltage or even emergency voltage uh, check out this board right here for the transformers and this as well. Okay, the motherboard. Just to show you, I don't know if we could uh, focus in too well, but bottom line is a lot of these solder joints are in pretty bad shape, probably from heat, also excessive moisture, whatever. So the diagnostics uh, so far were correct. This is bad, that's bad. Transformer board, motherboard. Okay, motherboard came in today exact same one uh, it looks to be physically or visually I should say in excellent condition came in with the uh, sensor boards uh, and uh, you know what else can I say we did not try to power this thing up yet I just put this thing together I have no idea if any of this stuff works correctly or not the only thing I can say is that the battery charger works okay uh, again I just bolted in the motherboard wired everything up I did not plug anything in. Basically, it's very simple, okay? I have all this stuff here temporarily uh, wired. We got two light bulbs, one for each side, because this is going into 240. So we split it, uh, you know, 120, 120, two legs. Uh, we're gonna plug it into my MIG welder outlet to simulate line voltage. Somewhere's back there, if I can't see because of the light. And uh, we got two other wires that go to the uh, generator. We're going to use the 7.5 uh, gasoline uh, uh, generator today, although that this uh, transfer switch can be used for diesel as well. Uh, I got this all plugged in to sense, you know, if this thing's playing on voltage, but I still have to plug this guy in. So before I plug in the, the transfer switch into the wall socket and this in here, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just give you all an idea of what we got going over here. Do I have butterflies? Uh, about plugging this thing in yeah kind of you know we did a lot of work to get this thing going well it's not going yet but uh again there could be other problems as well this transfer switch was uh in a very very moist area there's a lot of rust got a lot of rust up here a lot of rust up there uh it was a mess when i got it you can see these things are rusted up but the transformer at least on the input works i tested all that uh so we're gonna plug it in see if this thing smokes uh, we uh, discussed this whole th situation on the forum uh, about the uh, burned up transformer board and the uh, and the uh, motherboard. Uh, came to the conclusion it could have been like a, a nearby lightning strike that uh, pumped uh, more voltage into this thing than what it could handle, and could have fried some of this stuff. I don't know. We don't know. Okay. So uh, again, we got a, a, a good motherboard at least visually. Uh, same thing with transformer board. We're going to plug it in and, uh, in a minute and see what happens. But i got to cut the camera out because I only got two hands. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so just hang in there. I'll let you know what happens. Okay, here we are. What I did, I put the uh, cover back on over the motherboard so at least we could see the status of uh, what we have currently. And as things happen... Uh, I am plugged into the line right now as if, uh, you know, it's coming in through the, uh, through the power lines and, uh, these two lights are lit up as a result of that. Okay. Uh, sitting right there. We're plugged into the generator as well. Generator is not running for obvious reasons. Uh, I do not have any lights on over here. Okay. I, I would at least expect to see this in this. Okay. On because we do have normal power, I guess you could say. And it is available. It's quite evident because our bulbs are lit up over here. Okay. Uh, I'm not worrying about that. It could be blown out bulbs. Who knows? Okay. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill the line power. Okay. By shutting off the breaker to simulate a power failure. 
these bulbs will go out momentarily. Uh, we're going to see something happen over here uh, before the generator wakes up. And after I shut down the switch, probably won't see anything over here at all. I assume, again, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's going to go through a timing delay, okay, for preheat. Then after the generator wakes up, okay, it will eventually, I assume, or at least I hope, source 2 will be available. Uh, this bar right here, okay, is going to make a loud noise bang down and we shall see lights once again and it'll be on the generator if the lights are working on the other side of this door the emergency light will uh, come on okay uh and hopefully the available light as well okay but i'm not concerned about the lights to be quite honest with you I'm concerned about the functionality of this thing so here we go i'm going to keep uh i'm going to try to keep focused on the uh on the power sentry display right here I got to move back to shut off the breaker. Okay, so here we go. All right, line is going to be killed to simulate a power failure. Here we are. Okay, it's going to start the generator, but as you can see right now, the preheat timing is on. As soon as that expires, I got to set pretty low. Uh, the timing light will come on. The generator is going to wake up, which it just did. Okay, there's going to be a delay. Okay, source two is available, but there's a delay to transfer over. Okay allows the generator to stabilize I'm hoping I'm hope there we go okay good that just kicked on and the transfer is complete as you can see right here okay probably what I should have shown was this light on over here timing okay there's all kinds of delays over here okay so right now we're running off the generator let's see what lights we have on the other side Okay, as I expected, the emergency light would be on. The available light I would expect to be on too, because electricity is available. It's quite evident. There we are. In the real world, instead of these two light bulbs inside the case being lit up, it could be anything in your home. Okay, this is just for test purposes. So I know I got something going on with those lights over there. I could easily test them for voltage. Uh, at these lines right here, test the lights, test small potatoes. Okay, the other thing I'm glad that did not happen was the uh, overcrank light and lockout uh, kick on, okay? That would prevent the set from uh, starting again until when this button is reset. Prior to replacing the motherboard and the transformer board, that's what was happening. It's doing preheat timing and then uh, the overcrank. All right, so that's good, okay. So, what I expect now after when I restore the power from the breaker box, okay, or let's say the line side from uh, the utility, I would expect, that, what do I expect actually? All right, I would expect the retransfer timing light to come on. And when it goes complete, I would expect this bar to come up and these lights to, to, to uh, go on and eventually the generator to shut off. So let's see what happens, okay? Okay, so. I restored the line side, okay, source two, okay, that's good, all right, now you can see the retransfer right now is timing, okay, when the timing set, okay, it just went to complete, all right, but two things here, this bar should have came up, you should have heard a loud click, and these two lights, they are on right now, but it looks like it's still on generator power, uh, they should have went to the line side. So although that the uh, panel here says that the retransfer is complete, uh, we still have an issue here. Okay, we came a long way since uh, before replacing all the motherboards. It might be a, maybe a simple adjustment, I don't know. Maybe there's a relay that's blown out. There was a lot of crap wrong with this at first. Okay, let's see what we got on the other side. Yeah, we're still running on the emergency power. All right, so, okay, so we, we know we still have a problem here. Okay, I'll have to go through the diagnostics and check it out. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to manually flip this up. When I flip it up, okay, it's going to go back to the line side as if the utility was restored and probably shut down the generator. So let's give it a shot. Here we are. Okay, so I did that manually. Generator shut down. Okay, so anyway, as you can see right here, the retransfer still is complete. We're running on the line side, generator did shut down. So we still have one more little 
battle to uh, resolve. But again, we came a long ways. Uh, once I resolve this last problem, this transfer switch will be hopefully totally functionable. But uh, we still got more testing to do. Uh, again, this is an industrial thing right here, so you know you're not gonna resolve everything in two seconds. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? That's really about it. So anyway, uh, that's the latest and greatest. And uh, we'll provide updates as we uh, troubleshoot these problems, okay? I'll talk to you later. Johnny C. from New Jersey.